It was, uh, it was painful. It was something that you just looked at it and said, anyone who couldn't do that to an animal like that, there's got to be something wrong. A real-life hero, an unbelievable journey. 18-year-old Hayden put her life at risk. She joined a group of peaceful protesters at sea in an effort to save pilot whales, part of the dolphin family, facing death by Japanese fishermen. Hayden told us her story as she fought back the tears. What's going through your mind when you're out there? We knew that it was very possible for us to get hurt. It was very possible for us to be detained by the police. We paddled out there, and the fear just completely went away. The group traveled on surfboards through water bright red from animals already slaughtered for their meat. The group's mission to form a memorial circle at Taiji Cove, where the whales were captured and trapped in nets. They were so pretty too. Yeah, oh my they god. Were. They were like teddy bears in the water. They they just immediately kind of slowed down and started gathering towards the um, the the net towards us. This little baby popped its head up at one point and just kind of looked at us and just the fact that all of us so wanted to go over there with, with knives and just cut them out of, of the nets and, and obviously set them free, I'd probably be in a jail in Japan right now if I did. How did it affect you to be in that water and to see the blood? It was just that awful feeling of knowing that we really couldn't do anything about it. The peaceful protest took a turn when local fishermen converged, prodding the group with their sticks and propeller blades. At one point, I actually had to take my foot out of the water because they got the propeller within inches. So they're very aggressive. Did you ever fear for your safety or your life at all? No. No. If anything, I, just, I kind of almost wanted them to hit me because it just would have made that much more of an impact. Hayden paddled back to shore, choking back tears. She and the others quickly drove away. They barely escaped the angry fishermen. Just knowing when we left that those whales that we just spent time with, you know, knowing what was going to happen, knowing what they were continuing to do, it just came in, in floods of emotion. Hayden is the spokesperson for SaveTheWhalesAgain.org and hopes her journey helps raise awareness. We cross, all cross our fingers that those whales didn't die in vain. And...